So pick up your spoon or fork and, um, and again, throughout at any point, feel welcome to go and grab some more. Don't worry about like making noise or anything like that. Um, this next one I love. We're doing angelic spoon bending. I know you're going to love it. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is, again, just automatically let the energy flow through your body. And then we're going to sort of bring our energy up through our horror line to our guardian angel. And then we're going to invite the guardian angel to come down into our bodies with us. Now, you may stay in your, like, we're not going to astral project, okay? It's more like a consciousness growth. Like, we're not going to leave our bodies. We're just allowing our consciousness to go up. So it's sort of like I'm looking across the room to you. It doesn't mean I need to be in your space. We're connecting. So you're going to go up and connect with your guardian angel. Some of you may feel like you're traveling up your horror line and you're not in your body. You're up there. Some of you may feel like you're, you have an awareness of it. Uh, some of you may just feel like you're feeling a little lighter and happier. Whatever your experience is, honor it and go with it. The more you practice this technique, the more your experience will grow and evolve. But I promise you, your angel is here with you and is ready to help. Do you all know, like, the purpose of a guardian angel? It's a symbiotic relationship. So every human being alive has a guardian angel. And um, in the angelic realm, you know, they don't have 3D physical reality, and they don't have emotional resonance below that of love and joy. Yet, just like all beings in existence, they are in growth and evolution. So they connect with us because we have such, a, you know, a cacophony of emotions and, and experience that it allows them to expand and broaden just by connecting with us and resonating with our energy. Um, so the more you use your guardian angel, the helping you make your life easier and better, the more you're actually helping your angel to send information and frequency to the angelic realm to help them with their evolution. So everyone's got an angel, trust me on that. And your angels, if you're not using them, they're kind of bored and wish you were making use of them. Like imagine going to the office every day and no one will let you do anything but sit at a desk and do nothing. So use your angels. Um, so in this case, we're going to use our angels to bend the spoon for us because the angels have such a light resonance, a light, you know, divine frequency that once they touch the spoon, the spoon basically is like putty in their hands and their hands will be coming in through your hands. Okay. Everyone good with that? Okay. That was like a whole two hour workshop in like <laughs> three minutes. <laughs> I think on my YouTube channel, I have some videos about guardian angel and uh, angel. So if you go into my channel and then search for the word angel, you'll get some stuff popping up to explain more about that. But, um, and whether you believe in angels or not, it doesn't matter because the energy is there. And just like for today, just believe everything I tell you. Okay. <laughs> After this, you can like go in your head, but for now, just like be six year old children, believe everything I tell you. <laughs> okay. So, um, either close your eyes or space out your eyes and hold your spoon in your hands. Just like before, give your feet permission to relax and they will allow all the energy to flow through you unencumbered. Give the top of your head permission to relax and that will allow all the beautiful divine cosmic energy to flow into you and fill your body, flow through you, out your feet, out down your arms, out your hands. You're holding your spoon in your hands allowing all of this beautiful divine energy that's coming in through the top of your head 
flowing down to also connect with and fill your spoon. With each breath, you find yourself relaxing even more. Your feet relax, and all of that lovely energy flows from them and through them deep into earth. And the top of your head relaxes and allows all that beautiful divine cosmic energy to come in, flow in, filling your being, emanating out and flowing down. Allow your awareness to just float up, rise up through the top of your head, up your hara line, which is that beautiful energetic line where your chakras continue above your body, connect you to your soul, to your angels and guides. You may actually see this as a line of energy or you may feel like you're floating up through a tube of light or you may just feel yourself getting lighter and airier and closer to the home of blessings and love just allow yourself to float on up we can call out to your guardian angel your friend and guide who cares absolutely for your best well-being and your most joyous state and is always sending love to you, trying to help you to resonate with joy. Let yourself just sort of float up and you can feel your guardian angel floating down. The two of you meet together, kind of merge into a state of oneness, of love, and light, angelic resonance, joy. You can feel the joy of your angel connecting with you in this way. How wonderful, how wonderful for you both as you allow this merging of your essences. A convergence of pure friendship and love. And you can feel the two of you as one Invite your angel to join you flowing back down into your body, flowing down your horror line into the top of your head and down through your mind, filtering and flowing through your mind and down, down filling your throat with angelic voice and love going down, filling your heart center, and your core of your body, flowing down through your limbs, your legs, continuing sending love into earth as your angel flows and fills your arms, breathing love into your heart and your soul. Invite your angel to infuse with every cell of your body, every molecule is being kissed with angelic love. You may even feel like you have wings sprouting from your shoulder blades or you may feel like your heart center has become a beacon of light 
not just like shining outward. You may feel like you're wearing a cloak of feathers and love and light. Invite your angel to send all of this love through your arms and your hands and your fingers into your spoon and fill your spoon with the same love. You can feel the spoon becoming love-filled, relaxed, as every molecule of your spoon is being infused with divine angelic love. When you are ready, invite your angel to bend your spoon for you. Using your fingers, your angel can take over the task and accomplish whatever you ask. It may be, you may have to sort of push a little bit for the first, and then it becomes very soft. If the energy stops, just go back and merge with your angelic love and flow again. You may feel your spoon become very hot where it's bending. 